Are you wondering what type of irrigation to use in your garden? Maybe you've been watering with the hose once a day, twice a day, three times a day, depending on the weather, and you're ready to try a more automated system. Well, today I'm gonna to show you the system that I use that works out really good for me. I work full time, have two kids, so I really don't have the time to spend in my garden two or three times a day watering it. Hi, I'm Tiff, the informal farmer, and I'm gonna show you how I automatically irrigate my garden. Here are the, oh, random chicken egg. Here's the supplies that I use for the irrigation system that I have. So right here I have um, Rainbird distribution tubing. You could use any type of distribution tubing that you like. This is the one that happened to be at the store when I was there. And then um, these barbed couplings, which will connect to the tubing. And then here you can see a barbed coupling attached to my irrigation tubing. And then these irrigation heads, I get these on Amazon. Um, I've tried all different types of irrigation heads and I found these to be the absolute best because of the spray pattern. There are also these ones which you can see have um, little holes so it's not as of much of a, a spray pattern uh, but those ones also still work great better than some of the name brand ones I've had. What you're going to do is start by cutting a piece of micro tubing to the size that you need it to reach your plants. Then you are going to take a barbed coupling to attach to one end of your micro tubing. Then on the other end is where you are going to attach your spray emitter. This is quarter inch micro tubing and the quarter inch barbed coupling. And as you can see, it does take a bit of strength to put these two pieces together. What you can do is let the micro tubing sit in the sun so that it becomes more pliable or use a hair dryer. Voila, we've got the barbed coupling on one end and the emitter on the other. The next step is to attach that micro tubing and the barbed coupling to your main irrigation hose. So here we're using the punching tool to punch a hole in the main irrigation hose. That is a half inch irrigation hose. And then we're going to take the the end with the barbed coupling and just push it in through the hole. Now that that's attached, the water that flows through the main irrigation hose will now go through the micro tubing and out of the spray emitter to water the plants. As you can see here, I have my emitters placed in a pattern where I will have full coverage for this section of the garden bed. Here I'm growing corn, which is spaced all throughout the bed a little bit dense how it is and so it does need full coverage. Here you can see the timer that I use for my irrigation system. It is a dual output. That's because of the location I have it. I have it going to two separate garden beds which I have on different times. So with this automatic timer you can set it for how many times a day you want it to water, at what times, and how long for each watering. Thanks for joining me today. I hope I was able to answer some questions about automatic irrigation systems. And if you're hoping to start implementing a system like this, I'll include some links below on some of the products that I use and recommend. Um, also check out the link for this video that will go into more details on setting up your homestead. Thanks for joining me. And as always, you got this.